rise and shine? What is that, boy? <coughs> Roxanne called and she she caught me when I wasn't thinking about what I had planned for this week and asked me if I'd work for her tomorrow. So, Roxy girl. Official member of the water board? No. I didn't get on. Oh, you didn't get on? No. Uh, I called Ronnie was telling him about this. I got down there and uh, picked up my agenda. They had the agenda down there and I picked it up. My own was item 6 1, minutes of the walking college station. You'll be voted on. Recommendation by the executive committee. And the president of the board comes there and catches me. You know, we're standing there shooting the bullet. Everybody's in the middle of there. They're sitting on the table. We're going to probably pass this out of six foot here. I just kind of laughed. I said, okay. <coughs> you know, I thought he was pulling my leg. He goes, in. okay, Braz G has got these slots on there, which are made up of, a, of a agriculture. Uh, County politics, business. I can't remember what all yeah, the different business, slots are. There. Agriculture, water districts. Anyway, it's kind of got an array of stuff there, so everybody knows. And I was I was going on to agriculture representative from Brazos G. Okay, then the, either the last legislative session or the legislative session before that, they put in there that they wanted the GMAs, which would be the Groundwater Management Associations. There were in the regions they have to put for the they have to put their people on there. So if you've got a groundwater management association either is in your region or touches your region, you have to end up on region G, Brad's River Thorn Region G is one more in, has five of those GMAs in it. Uh, 
So the survivors got over. Okay, they had to abide by the same bylaws and rules as the Brazos Genie River authority. Except they're not subject to term limits. Okay, Brazos Genie, they had gone through this policy and procedure bill, I think he said last year, and they approved them. I guess the last time the legislature session met, because I guess they had approved them also. But anyway, so Brad's G still had term limits for all those people. So now they got this GMA <coughs> people on there, they got these five new board members on there, and they're not subject to term limits. So I, I don't know, somebody didn't want to get off the board or what the deal is, but anyway, they wrote, the question rose, well, if, if we've all got to abide by the same rules, we be all going to have to play by term limits, or we do. Well, the guy I was replacing, the two guys were going off at term limits, they've been on there 10 years. So if they get this rule away, those guys are going to stay, I'm not sure. So we Unless going to they elect them to go ahead and they got all right. resign. So my hope is that there's nothing there. I had no clue. They said it's both of us all the road. Yeah, I've yeah, been real nice five minutes before I got up to 431 to Waco. But anyway, uh, Supposedly, this all started after dinner on Thursday, and I was going down on Friday morning. But anyway, it was the guy from College Station. He showed up late. He didn't have any idea. When he got there, matter of fact, we'd already gone past I was six foot one. He got there, and anyway, he's sitting down back there a few rows behind me. And I was right up and was talking. I said, Well, that was a short, that was a short uh, uh, committee that I, that's the shortest committee I've ever heard. He goes, What do you mean? I said, They put us on there. And that time I started telling him the president, they had broke up. The president and the attorney that's on the board, they before started talking to us again and trying to explain to us, you know, I, so I don't know. And I was telling him, well, I learned something about the person that's not church about it. Uh, the Brad's River Authority Region G has a manager. His name's, uh, yeah, Trey, Trey Busby. He come in and told me, <clears throat> he called me out of the meeting and explained, explained all this to me. Of course, he didn't realize the president had explained it to me, so I knew I was up against the rock horse spot. Anyway, anyway, he said that none of those other regions had term limits. I said, so what show me was the last time for He said, well, you know what? <laughs> he didn't hurt my feelings, I guess, but I mean, it is what it is. I said, so what was the real thing you're saying on that forever? I said, you think that's what you're going to do? I don't know. You said, I'll have a vote on that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I don't know what happened. So anyway, no, I didn't get it. <coughs> yeah, I got that close. <laughs> I got within about 12 hours. Okay. Well, I, what I suspect has happened is when some of the others have figured out what you and I talked about, over the next few years, the water boards are going to be the most powerful agency in the state. And I think some other people have figured that out too. And they, the folks that are sitting on them don't want to leave them. They want to be there in the thick of things. So I, it, just, it just missed us by that much. <laughs> well, I, yeah, so, and you talked to, uh, oh, they talk, they talk Dale, Dale no, I haven't yet, but I will. I just wonder what he's thinking with him. Yeah. yeah, I need to call Dale and find out. Cause, see, the last time I talked to Dale, he talked like he was, you know, about ready to come home. The way I get it. But it might have been because he thought he didn't have any choice. I don't know. The way I kind of get it, you know, if they did this, those two guys would still have the option to get off. And if they did, or if anybody else got off, I mean, this other fellow was going to be the first to yeah. be in contention for the spots. Yeah. So I, but I don't know. Y'all are kind of, well, y'all kind of reserved. I guess so. Well, if one of them wants off now, I mean, if they one of them wants off now and the other one doesn't, they're going to go on draw straw. See, he's no, he's I bet they keep it, you know, because the Dale's up in our area. If he quits, they'll, they'll appoint Gary. I, I feel certain. The other guy is a county judge down the lower end. If he gets out, the other member is from the lower end, the other college station. And I figure that's so that because they want to try to keep that that balance, you know. That's reverse the other. Yeah. So 
So if, if somebody from the upper end resigns, I think Gary's setting good. If it's a lower end, the guy from College State. Let's go ahead and call the Mission Court session in order. Uh, conduct the business of the county. First item on the agenda is pay the bills. So I'll have an opportunity to look them over with any comments or questions. <coughs> Entertain a motion. A motion to approve the bills and have a second. So all in favor. Second item is consent list. One thing on it is, as usual, for the second meeting of the month is the minutes from the previous meeting. You all had an opportunity to look them over. Yeah. And I was right when I got mine. It had a. Uh, I was going to say something wrong. It had on well, she had my old address on there, and on that envelope, it had a tag on it from the That's office. what she had tried to call you for, you know, when you called. I figured that's what that, it was. That's, I asked her when she got back in. She said that, that, that uh, for whatever reason, the address that was in that computer in there was the old one. Old, old address. Anyway, so that's what. That's the reason she had tried to call you. Yeah. That was my grandmother's address, so they moved there to 42. They've been delivering mail to Myers there about one box 99. Yeah, <laughs> forever. 42. And apparently last month they decided they couldn't do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> True story though, about two years ago, I got a bill last from Four Star Food. It says, Gary Myers, Route 1, Peacock, Texas. And they delivered it. <coughs> Any questions or comments about the consent list? Do we have a motion? What? Kurt made a motion to approve the consent list. Have a second? Yeah. All in favor? Item number three. Consider appointment of early voting clerk and assistance to next year beginning September the first, twenty twelve, for the early voting. Of course the next one will be for the general election coming up in November. Uh, that's normally the clerk and whichever one of her deputies she designates, uh, she designated herself and Melissa Worthington. You know, the clerk and the assistant. Do you have any more choices? <laughs> <laughs> you want to nominate another choice? You're you're within throwing distance. Today. You're in a little something today, aren't you? <laughs> right. <laughs> I'll make a motion too. Motion to approve early Patty voting assistant Patricia Hoy and Melissa Worthington. Yeah. We have a second. 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 All in favor? Raise your hand. Opposed? Here. Item number four, resolution on the energy defense form of grant pro. We've not been submitted to that, but we probably could have qualified for a little bit last year, but this year our energy 
expense funds that we've spent so far this year a little better than 10000 mm -hmm. uh, The administrator called Anya this last week, sent her simply follow-up stuff to you. With that kind of funds being expended on energy and defense, we can qualify for some reimbursement of the grant. Uh, we sent the, the, the initial forms back in, but in order for them to finally approve it, we have to pass a resolution in the commissioner's court. And I'll just read it rather than pass it around for everybody to read. It says, uh, Stonewall County Resolution, Energy Defense, Formula Grant Program, whereas under the provisions of the Fire Defense Act, 77th regular session, counties are eligible to receive grants from the Texas Energy Defense Commission to provide improvements in energy defense services in the county. And whereas this grant program will assist the county in the implementation of the provision of the Fire Defense Act and the improvement of the indigent criminal defense services in the county. Whereas Stonewall County Commissioner's Court has agreed that in the event of loss or misuse of the funds, Stonewall County Commissioner's assures that the funds will be returned in full to the Texas Indian Defense Commission. Now therefore be it resolved and ordered that the county judge of this county is designated as the authorized official to apply for, accept, decline, modify, or cancel the grant application or the Indian Defense Form of Grant Program and all other necessary documents to, to accept said grant. And be it further resolved that the treasurer is designated as the program director and contact person for this grant and designated as the financial finance officer for this grant. And um, it's basically what, what it's uh, saying is uh, if they find for whatever reason we misused the funds or they get lost, uh, this this court will be responsible for returning any, any unused funds or misappropriated funds. I don't know how much. Did, did they give you any kind of an amount? They have not told us how much. Usually we get back about 2000 off the straight deal where yeah. they just give you. And he thought we would get back a lot more than that in how many instances we had this last year. See, the, the county, the county court, my court, for the last two years, our injured defense has really not cost us anything except for some appointments that were made prior to two years ago because we set up and became a part of this cap rock engine defense system run through Texas Tech University Law School. This year we're at, we're liable for 20% of it because in the last two years it's, it's been the grant funds pay for every bit of it. So basically what Nearly all of the Indian defense money that the county has been out last year and this year has been through the district court system. And, and one case in particular cost the, large, the largest chunk of that $10,000. But because of that, we, we're now able to get some funds back on that. So that's what this resolution is, is just to accept the funds to make me appoint me as the designated authorized official to apply for and stuff and, and appoint Anya then as the contact person. Any, any questions about it? Do we have a motion to pass this resolution? Make the motion for Gary made the motion. the resolution and let the county do the same way as the whole county. Have a motion to have a second. second. You've got a second. All in favor? Yeah. I'll, I'll be can sign this thing. <laughs> yeah. We've got to send a copy of the Here ye. 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 Oh yeah. 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 Oh Got a motion to table burn bed. We have a second. Second. All in favor of table burn bed? Raise right. And like I said, I I hope 
to not have to see that on the agenda for a while. Yep, me too. Huh? Me too. Well, that rain seems to have been pretty general. So what did you get? Three two. Three two? Who was that bar the other day? Yeah, the mother got the mother showing about three to three more on that's good. Three and a half out on there. Really? Yeah, what? Three and a half. Three and a half. Yeah. What'd you have it on your pail? Always. You know, the entire county's got rain. service on the juvenile board. Uh, the district attorney Fouts the board presented a, a letter. I'll pass it around and look so you can look at it. Uh, requesting these funds and uh, the authority for those funds. He, uh, statute and, and basically what the statute says, any funds a district attorney shall be paid nothing less than the highest paid district attorney or district judge in the, in the district. Uh, we pay Judge Hathaway and have been all along uh, this $60 a month for service on the juvenile justice board. All the judges in the district received that. And the district attorney should have been receiving it, but he never has. And he has never even requested it until this time. And I think that's due to some internal matters going on in the Pasco County. But anyhow, here's the letter he sent over in, in the back of the party. But, but, that, but the state law says that the, that's when it's on the compensation the government, on the government, local government code. So is he going to bill all four counties? Is that our percentage or is yeah, that that's our amount? percentage, I think. What it is, the, 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 the state law says that uh, we can't pay the district attorney any less than the highest paid district judge in the district. So that's just the <coughs> area that we've been paying the district judge that we've not been paying the district attorney. And he's known about it all along, but he's, he's never said anything about it. Well, you're Judge $60 a month plus yeah. $60. Yeah, the, yeah, the district judge receives that compensation. And by state law, the district attorney is entitled to it also. Did they put their team before the rain showed up? Yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah they had just, just completed it. Actually, they had completed it a while earlier, and most of the horses had already been kind of put back out and uh, had time to start the long more races and completed the last race about three minutes before the rain. Having big crashes? Huh? Having big crashes. Didn't have any bad crashes this time. He said bad crashes. Well, I had a few more questions. Mass. <coughs> <coughs> 
They Nothing were, like Rusty Wallace the other day when he threw his helmet at Owen. What? What made him do that? I don't know. I just saw that clip. I saw it. Yeah. 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 You any questions on, on this? No, no discussion. No questions. Do we have a motion to approve or reject? I move to approve the request for compensation. We have a motion compensate the district attorney for his participation in the juvenile justice board. Do we have a second? We have a second. We have a second. All in favor? So that, is the district attorney though, is he like the district judge? Or we, can he order us to pay that? I mean, do we really even have an option in that? Well, not not really by state law. Uh, I mean, I think it's a good, good idea. I mean, oh yeah, I'm not, I'm not arguing that. I'm just saying yeah, that. We, we really don't that. have much choice in because uh, the, the, the statute clearly sets, clearly states that uh, the, on, on the compensation of the district attorney, he shall be paid not less than yep. the highest paid district judge in the district. So right. any, any compensation package that the district judge receives, the district attorney right. is entitled to that same package. And, you know, they both serve on the juvenile justice board. You know, all, all of the district judges, uh, the district attorney, <coughs> and our probation officer, Chris, I can't call it right, anyhow, he's our chief probation officer. That's, and, and uh, Ms. Fouts. She is the chairman of the, the district judge is chairman of the Ju juvenile justice board, and Ms. Fouts is the chairman of the, of the county supervision board, of the probation board, adult board. We have we have a meeting <coughs> once a month. Uh, we hold our last Monday for our monthly meeting. And it's a, you know, it's, it, it, we don't conduct a whole lot of business over there, but it's, it's a, we're required to do that. And what it is, the our chief probation officer goes over uh, what's been done in the last month, how many cases each county has. What's pending, and what the things coming up, and then, of course the finances and the, that sort of thing. She tell you who's on probation and who to watch for, or anything like that, to give you a heads up. Or? Well, we we already know. I mean, the, the the people that's on probation, we already know about it. Basically, he just gives us an update of this, of, of those if cases. They're showing up. Yeah, if <laughs> they're showing up or not, and you know, and and the. Uh, the LCA, we've, we've, we've adopted this year a new policy on, on probationers. Uh, it's, it's more of a proactive kind of a deal. You, you know, you, the first time you screw up on probation, you miss a, you miss your meeting, you, you, you don't pay your fees and all. It's a, a sure and certain punishment for that. Uh, and and it basically, it includes jail time. We've got it one day up to three days for uh, certain minor offenses and up to as many as 10 days in the county jail if it's a repeat offender for missing their, their appointments or if they, you know, they flunk the, the drug screening or whatever. And that's, uh, uh, most most probation departments across the state are, in, are, are adopting that policy. I mean, they, they would rather do it that way early on Try to get somebody on the, on the right track rather than wait months down the road and then you know, have to revoke the probation and then they're back in the courtroom. And it's, it's more expense for everybody, including the probationer. So we're trying to get that off. So that's that's kind of what we're doing. Now. But anyhow, the, the, the district attorney is, is a member of that board. Uh, item number seven, uh, we don't need to, that, that's, it's kind of a moot point now, it was to renew the bond on uh, Deputy Permar, Steve Permar, it actually didn't come up renewal until, until November, however it's kind of a moot point because he has submitted his resignation, he'll be leaving in two weeks. The new guy we just hired? No, this, this, he's been here nearly a year. Back in November, Steve Permar. 
Oh, okay, okay. All right. So it is, we don't really need to take any action on his bond renewal because he won't even be here until the expiration of his existing bond. Where's he going? Going to Abilene. Is it PD? I don't know if it's PD or Sheriff's Department. Take the county sheriff. I don't know if it's in. Yeah, it's going to Abilene. Uh, he's leaving, he'll be leaving in two weeks. Uh, the sheriff has already hired his replacement, which will be our previous deputy. Brent's coming back. Brent's coming back. So his his private vision enterprise didn't work out the way he thought it would. So he's coming back. Now is he the big one or the big he's one big one burned east? Yeah. <laughs> if we stay here by the pound, we have to close the bond. <laughs> Steve Permeyer, he bought he bought some lots. Lots of lots. Got that old house, and he was tearing the old house down. Yeah. And I think we're going to plan on using that material to build another house. Oh, that's good. But he's back. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. this guy was he's got yeah. Brent was living in jail. Okay. Yeah. You know we got to mess with the light bill and all that deal. Turn it all straight down. When is he gonna come back and live? No, the other guy in the jail now, this newest one, he's, he's hunting for a house now. I don't know if he's, but he's got two weeks to. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. That Brent, hey, I think he's pretty good. Uh, I think so too. I, I see. Well, what means I think he's, he's a pretty good guy. Yeah. What's the new one we got living in the jail now? Who's he? Shields. Shields. Tall, slender, tall. So anyway, uh, yes, he's married. Yes, the Shields. Yeah, yeah he's married. They have, they have a, a, a small child. Is that the uh, brother? Yeah, brother. Who? Uh, I know somebody moved in Carol Ball's house. That's the the EMS director. EMS, okay. Mm -hmm. Got her house. Yeah. No, I think just, just I think I don't know. I, I just know she's one that's moving in there. Right, uh, yes, your deputy's call there. She needed a bigger house to live in. Well, that, you know, that's not a very big house, but it's bigger it's that trailer house down there. She they've been living in. Okay. I mean, it's not. It's a nice house. But anyway, they 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 were moving in here what this last week, I think what Thursday, Friday maybe. So I think on on uh, item number seven, we just need to take no action on it. That, that, this all came up after we had posted the agenda about, about the resignation. Take no action on that. I've got a motion to have a second. Have a second, baby. All in favor. Item number eight. Bids for the community center roof. Finally got it. Yeah, it's been like pulling teeth. Did we leak anymore? Huh? Did we leak anymore? I, I, didn't, I didn't go in there. I haven't been on the this morning. What about here in the courthouse? Huh. I'm I, I'm not, I, I think I think we got a good scald on this one. Yeah. I don't know I don't know of any leak or seat or anything in there. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Bid from, I got two bids on that. Oh, you need it. Did he take any days off? I didn't hear him. Steve Linder told me that when, when he and I went out that, that far out there, but it would give some time. Uh -huh. And I, I, I made the joke and comment that I needed to start taking Dale with me so she could slide shotgun and open and close the gates the way Linder was. Right. And that's what Linder said. 
he'd only be doing this because he just had some stints with him. Said he was doing good. You yeah. just asked him? Yeah. Because I asked him, you're not going back to get another stand, are you? Because <laughs> he said, the way he said it, he said he had an appointment. Yeah. But he said, no, I'm doing good. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, that's what he told me out there. He's doing real good. Yeah. I don't know when they did that. Do you have problems or trouble before? Mother had talked to Linda and he did uh, indigestion. So he had indigestion. So yeah, back Okay. Back to the community center roof. We got uh, two beds, Lighty Cook and bar roof and that's basically the the two in this area that do this tar and gravel roof. One bid from Lighty Cook. Lighty Cooks, 37, 421. 37, 421? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. 37, 421. And they don't. They didn't have these. They didn't think that was necessary. But they could flood that for the gun. Their inspection showed they could flood it for the gun. The bid from Bar Roof. They. It's kind of a two-part bid. And their base bid was forty-one thousand two hundred. And then I got a, a sub bid then from Bacher and Associates to come in and raise the the uh, air conditioning units. So they could fully swap, and that bid from, from Bacher and Associates was to add to the bar was 9,482, which would make a total of 50,682. But to compare apples to apples on this thing, you know, bars, bars bid to do the same thing that Vita Cooks bid there. Right? That's without lifting the, the unit. 41 2, and that one's 37. Who put the roof on the courthouse set? Ball. Bar. What's the difference? How come one thinks that they have to raise the ACs and another one doesn't? Well, he said to get a good, you know, so they can do the whole thing on there, but they need to raise them up so they can strip out and put the new board underneath it and all that stuff. The other one says because that's protected. It's, it's not leaking under the upright under those things. They think they can, they can get under there. They can scrape that they out push and, 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 and there. flood it back up underneath there without doing it. Mm -hmm. Well, looks like pour it all in and then ask for it to seal it. Yeah. And here's. here's and it'd take nine more thousand dollars. Yeah, the numbers, the numbers are right here. Uh, yeah. Because they're going to they're gonna break crank and fix them up and set. They're going to unhook them. Oh. They're going to grain them. Unhook them. They're going to crank, fix them. Yeah. Set them back down and recharge them. And then we're going to have to have somebody come back in and look at 50,000. No, I'm assuming yeah. that's all. Here's, I'm here's assuming the, that's there's the, there's the base here, and then here's the gear from Baker and so forth. So there's the list. I might have hooked when he was up here. Well, she, he asked me about the, the, the courthouse roof. He asked me, he said, did, did you ever get done? I said, yeah. And he said, so I take it somebody beat me. And I said, yeah, Barb. He said, that gummy. He said, they ain't going to beat me on this one. And they didn't. <laughs> he said, I'm going to make you a good price, but we want this job. So, well, I didn't give him any, any figures or nothing. I just, he just asked me, he said, you know, if we'd done this, told him, yeah, and he said, I guess someone beat me on bid, and I said, yeah, and he said, mind if I ask who, and I said, no, I don't mind at all, bar roof, and he said, don't go on there, <laughs> he said, they're going to have a hard time beating me on this one. Let me ask you this, let's say we do a 
up a lot of hooks. We get it up far. In five years from now, it goes leaking with an archer shoot. Just yeah. for instance. Yeah. Can we go in there then and harvest batter or bait or whoever? Major. Major. Anybody else come in there and lift those up, cut those spots out? I and will they tie? I guess my concern is will all that tie in? In other words, will it just be like a patch with a still trying to lick around the edge where you patched it? Because my first inclination is to save the money. And if it don't work, then we can always come back and fix it. But, you, you know, I don't get in one deal where they go, well, it's... Is that just a base that the units are sitting on and it's void? Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of open underneath. It's what what to do, I, I, I think, what uh, Laura's talking about, it, yeah, once yeah. they lift it, they're going to put an extender on that thing and where they it'll be sitting actually a little higher, which means that they'll have to go in and do some duct work. They're going to have right. to take it loose, then they'll have to put an extender on the duct work. Thing. So it, that, it's, that's a pretty good that's a pretty good undertaking to lift all of those. I mean, that, yeah, that sounds like a pretty good job. Yeah, they'll have to have a, they'll have to have a, a crane up here. The whole thing. That nine thousand is not including the duct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. We, yeah. we propose to lift the five RTS and the one exhaust fan, install curb extensions, duct extensions, reconnect, reconnect electrical, and rework drain lines. Price includes all material labor. Sign truck trips to set and remove a frame. And I may be wrong. It may not. I may not be considered charging that assistance because it doesn't say that, does it? Well, they're they're no, they're those systems are contained. Oh, they are. Yeah, yeah. Okay. See, they're the they're the air they they're the air handle. They're the whole thing. Okay. What kind of warranty does the slide it could say they're going to give you? It's standard five. I don't know. Yeah, if he, I don't know what he said in here, but that's that's what their standard warranty is on. The bar here, they put it. In the, I mean, they have yeah. a five-year warranty also. Yeah. Well, it'd still be cheaper to go with a lot of cooks, and if it looks yeah. like they need to pick it up, just hire those people. But it's still four thousand dollars cheaper. Yeah. Yeah. And it's and it's basically the same thing. You, you probably put the, put the base sheet down and then mop in three layers of the of the. Type four fiberglass belt, and then and then recoat the thing. So as far as the base job is concerned, it's exactly the same. It's good what they're proposing to do. Yeah. <coughs> Good. Come on, we fifty man. Put some on the face. <laughs> see, I I had hoped to get this in. One of the reasons it's one it's late. I kept waiting on Lighty Cooks to be it, and finally I called. I said, take. Hey, Y'all gonna do this job? But he was up here at the same time. Bar, he said, you didn't get it. I said, I ain't seen him. He said, well, I'm, I emailed the bid, and that's probably the reason he didn't go into more detail on this thing because he come down it. And so he said, I'll send it back. He, he read my email address back to me. He had it corrected. <coughs> he sent it three more times, and I ended up calling him back toward the end of this last week. And I said, so I thought you was gonna send it. He said, I have. I'm still not getting it. And it finally it finally went through. Was he aware of the Morris intention of raising them up and everything? Did he he know about that? I asked him. I said, I, I asked him, I said, I listened to you. If y'all considered what you're gonna do underneath those air conditions, you're not gonna have to lift those up. And he said, No, he said, We've got a way to, to do that underneath there without moving. He said, didn't think it be in bad shape, but we've got a way to coat that under there without lifting. I don't know how in the world it does because it's not. It's not they're, getting, they're setting down on the board. Well, they've got no, they, there's a there's a little curve they're setting. It's, yeah. it's about three inches high. at all. Metal curve. I no, it's just built in the roof. I don't know. You know, I can't, you can't really tell, or I couldn't. Really, but uh, anyway, that he, he he seemed to think they could they could get that coat without lifting. Bar seemed to think they needed to lift them and get them there and then put the extensions on them to raise them just a little higher and go all that. So I don't know. I don't know what the difference is on it, but they, they both seem to think they could fix the roof with one knee or a better deal to lift them. Do the curve. Because I asked Lightning Cook that. I said, Do you all need that? And the reason is because 
far as pretty evidence that that's what they want to do. So when I asked this guy from Matty Cook, I said, do y'all not need to lift those those air conditioning units up there and gone? He said, oh no. He said, we can, we can do it just like it is. He said, we can, we can get that flooded down the road. Okay, these people from Bar are gonna they're gonna mechanically attach a half inch fiber board. Mm -hmm. Is yeah. Lighty Cook gonna do that also? Yeah. Or are they just gonna lay three sheets of No. Uh, mechanically fashion the base sheet. A base board he's going to use it's a half inch deal. And then mop uh, with hot asphalt three five <coughs> about four five grade. Yeah. Okay. The base the base bits are Okay. Mechanically fashioned that base sheet and base board. Is there one on there now? Like that? Is it torn off or what? I don't, I don't think they'll tear it off. I think what they'll do is they'll, they'll, they'll scrape, flood that gravel all back, and then they'll attach this sheet on there. Because the under underline on this one, see, we had some bad spots on the courthouse. That over there, if not. Both of them's inspected, that's what it shows. Now, both of them on here, we got, I uh, don't think it's either one of them spelled it out, but there's two of the, the uh, skylights over there. They're going to have to replace. They'll do that. and see if I can light a cook and see if they'll, if they, I, I can clarify that again, but I did ask the guy from light a cook. I said, you all not going to have to lift those air conditioners. He said, oh no. He said, we can take care of the guys. We need to get started on to get in this budget or? Well, it, it would probably be running pretty thin. We might could get it on there, but we've got it covered in next year's budget just in case. It'd be better to get it this time. If we can, yeah. I see we covered we covered this roof off the, on last year, yeah. but we budgeted for it, so we've got those funds yeah. that will cover that. Over there. Yeah. I can get more information or we can we can go with one of the other of these or whatever you want. Like 37 is a lot cheaper than 50. Yeah, 37 is even cheaper than 41. <laughs> yeah. He, you do have to add the $9,000 in. That's true. Well, if, it, if he doesn't have this broke down as well, then borrow. Yeah. So it's, is is that not going to, and if, if they don't do something that you think should have been done, are they going to say, well, that wasn't in my quote? Well, it's, it, they're, they're, Barr, he sent me the whole thing, what their contract is. Yeah. Mighty Cook is, is, is basically the same kind of contract. I mean, it's, it's, that's a reputable company. They've been there for 100 years old. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the thing of it is, they won't. They may not get so he yeah. out there. If we get down the contract, it'll have all that stuff spelled out in there, or we won't sign it. If we decide yeah. to go with the lighting cook. This is just so because, because of the, it's taking them so long. To get, I don't know why he couldn't get that to go through on my email. Because he, he showed where he had sent it back in, in uh, last month. So he will send you something that's broke down in more detail. Yeah. About. But he, he basically this, you know, this one right here says basically the same thing in one paragraph that this one says in four sheets or four pages. Of, you know, or other than other than raising the, the units. I can, I can get the, I can get the light of coach full contract in here and <coughs> get better clarification on lifting that if you want to and we'll have it on the next 
That's Virginia. I mean, we're not pressed for time other than. Did he give you a time frame when he could be here, like Cooks? Well, I, I had I had told both of them I want to get this in and try to get it on this year's budget cycle, which meant it had to be done before October first. Like Cooks been just a long time. I can't imagine. Well, that's it. I mean, you know. Actually, I guess they're about the oldest roofing company anywhere in this area. Got a motion to go to the right of this field. Any other discussion? Do we have a second? Got a second? Hey. All in favor to accept the right of this field to replace the roof over to the community center? All in favor? Yay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we got one yay and three more, four more raised hands. <laughs> discussion ran a little longer, so what we're going to do at this time is recess this meeting. If anybody wants to take a break first, we'll come back in about five minutes and we'll yeah. call order for the special.